time. That's what's important, right? We are ready to start the game. So I'll tell you what, let's do just that right now. Folks, it's the last day of March. Why not have a little gremlin in the system? But I'm ready to spring into action here on Swagbucks Live. That's the mobile game show where you win money. Your phone. I'm your producer, Hal, living my life 20 seconds of hand washing at a time. And I'm thrilled to be here with you today to reward your smarts with this grand prize. Feast your eyes, everybody. That is $1,000. And everyone who can correctly answer these 10 multiple choice general trivia questions that I have will split it. Hooray for you. Hooray for Hollywood. We're still going. Here we go. Even if you don't get a piece of that grand prize after Q1, you will get one bonus SB for any question you get right. Remember to claim those SB at the end of the game so you can add them to your account. If you win the game, your bonus is claimed automatically and added to your winnings. How about that? How's that for a treat? We have almost 20,000 people in the game right now. Now, let's see Let's see if we can make Now, I believe in us. Jennifer, my wife, is here. I believe in y'all. <laughs> she believes. You know what? We're getting close enough. I know you've been waiting, and I want to get you into this game. And this is the part where I get the comments out of here so I can get to the part where I'm asking you your warm-up. TMZ or TMNT. Loves their celebrity gossip. If you're a celebrity, just assume that at some point you'll be leaving the airport and have bright lights shining in your face while you're asked questions by a TMZ producer. TMZ is that show. You know, they all gather around in the office and say, all right, what do we got? And then some Australian guy is like, I've got Nicki Minaj coming out of an In-N-Out burger. And then they just put a camera in her face, ask her very intrusive questions. Uh, I did have an encounter with TMZ one time. I was doing a show. They wanted to speak to Busy Phillips. Uh, who was on Cougar Town at the time. She was not made available to them. Uh, I tried to get on camera. Did not work. We had 95% of you who knew that one. Well done. Everyone else pretty much has rejoined. We are nearing that magical 20,000 player threshold. That is what I love to see. All the stragglers coming in, using their free rejoins to get into the game. Let's move on now. The bonus SB are here, just like I told you they'd be. This is question number two. What is another term for Major League Baseball's farm system? Is it the minor leagues, the coal miner's daughter, or Ursa Minor? What do you call the AAA system? We could call it Branch Rickey. He's best remembered for hiring Jackie Robinson. You know that. But before that, while working for the St. Louis Cardinals, he helped create the minor leagues, the modern version of the minor leagues. That is the answer I was looking for. 95% of you knew that one. Baseball season has not begun yet. We're hoping that the season will kick off at some point. Who knows what's going on, but I think everybody knows like a minor league team nearby. The, the Toledo Mud Hens, that's a pretty famous one. Bull Durham takes place entirely in the minor leagues. Uh, there's a great play to see the stars of tomorrow uh, before a lot of them have honed their skills. So check out some minor league baseball when that comes back. We are ready right now to go into question number three. Question number three, worth one bonus SB, if you get it right. Let's see how you do. Which of these movies is a sequel? Jojo Rabbit, Bad Boys for Life, or Knives Out? Which one of these movies was a sequel? Sequels can further a previously unresolved story, or they can bring some of our favorite characters back and show us where they've been. Like in Bad Boys for Life. That is a sequel. In fact, that is a threequel. It is the it is a second sequel. 84% of you knew that one. 15%, about 16% of you uh, divided in between Jojo Rabbit and Knives Out. Both original films. Both came out uh, last year. Both uh, nominated for Oscars. And of course, Jojo Rabbit taking it home for Taika Waititi for adapted screenplay. We've already had almost everybody who got out on that come back in. Of course, of course you all did. That's what you do. You get up, you dust yourselves off, and you wade back into the questions. So let's reward you with a bonus SB if you can get question number four right. Let's see how you do. Chubby Checker had a hit song about what dance craze? Was it the bop it, the twist, or the turn? What did Chubby 
Checker sing about? In 1960, Chubby Checker went on Dick Clark's American Bandstand and kicked off a dance craze that swept the country. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Yes, it was the twist. 96% of you knew that one. Brought to you live from Philadelphia. That is where American Bandstand was broadcasting from in those days. And yes, you all know it. You can all do the twist. The twist is like a dance all of us can do. We can all do it. No matter what our level is, we can all get in there and do the twist together. Just like we did last summer. All right, question five is coming your way. It is worth a bonus SB if you can get it right. Here it is. Fried caterpillars are a Christmas delicacy in what country? Is it Norway, China, or South Africa? Where do they eat fried caterpillars during Christmas? In this country, they've decided that instead of roasting chestnuts over an open fire, they'll just substitute a local snack. And if that sounds good to you, you need to visit South Africa. South Africa is where that is happening. Half of you knew that. You know your Christmas food, or you just know different delicacies from around the country. Well done. That is very impressive. Not an easy question. Half and half. That is, uh, that is you know, look, over half of the half that didn't get it right are already back in. I, I, I stumbled over For my words. I was so surprised. 20K of you total in the game. The rest of you playing along for those bonus assessments. Speaking of which, I have a bonus. Words. Is it chess? Sorry. Or scrap. Which of these games is a word making game? So this board game helps you turn your word smarts into real into in the, into a real time crossword puzzle as you attempt to outwit and outplay your opponent in a game of Scrabble. Scrabble is the game I'm looking for. So much fun. We all love it. Almost a hundred percent of you got that right. Fun fact: I once won a Scrabble tournament, and I have a, a a commemorative set that I've never opened that has a little plaque on it and everything. Set of you do too. No, not, they were already even rejoins to talk about because nobody had to rejoin. So we're just going to move on to a bonus SB for you in question number seven. Here it is. What two movies inspired the founding of the Razzie Awards? Was it Ishtar and the Garbage Pail Kids movie, Cleopatra and Plan 9 from Outer Space, or Can't Stop the Music and Xanadu? Do you know the Razzie Awards? The Golden Raspberry Awards, also known as... Razzies honor the very worst in filmmaking, and the two creators of that award show were inspired by a year in which two terrible movies were released. Can't Stop the Music and Xanadu. That is right. Oh, the village people, their movie did not do well. And uh, Olivia Newton-John on roller skates, ugh. But 40% of you knew that one. You know your Razzie history. 60% of you out. Over half of those people already back in. That is what I like to see, the resiliency of the Swagbucks Live Nation on full. I, have you seen any of these six movies? I've seen Xanadu several times. I've seen the Garbage Bill Kids movie, saw that as a kid. I think we've all seen a little bit of Plan 9 from Outer Space, or if you saw the, the movie Ed Wood, that also covers uh, the, the, the man who made Plan 9 from Outer Space, the incomparable Ed Wood. Let's move on to question number eight. It is worth a bonus SB to anyone and everyone playing along who gets it right. Here it is. Which video game series centers around stealing cars and committing crimes? Is it NBA 2K, Grand Theft Auto, or Animal Crossing? Which game series? It's an extremely graphic series of games that has been under fire for promoting violence and criminal activity, but Grand Theft Auto games remain bestsellers. got out. That's nothing. That's that. It happens to all of us. You still got bonus SB on your plate, but almost 100% of you moving on. Well done. Super proud of you. Let's see how everybody does on question number nine, because it's worth one bonus SB. Here it is. The pasteurization process of extending the shelf life of milk is named for what scientist? Emile Zation, Cyrus Milk Keeper, or Louis Pasteur? Pioneered this process. 
The milk you buy at the supermarket has been sterilized to, rem to remove harmful bacteria and also extend its shelf life, a process named after its inventor, Louis Pasteur. Pasteurization is named for Louis Pasteur. 8,206 of you have made it this far. You are ready for our final question. But before that, if you had fun playing this game, tell your friends about it. Tell your family about it. All the people who are at home right now, they need something to fill 15 minutes in a day, and they can earn some money while they're doing it. So post to social media with the hashtag SBLive and use your share link when people sign up using it. You get a free rejoin. Just like all the thousands of rejoins used in this game, one of those can be yours just by sharing the game and sharing the love. And hey, while you're staying at home, speaking of which, you still need to practice self-care. And you can do that with Sun Daily, gummies you take each day as part of your skincare regimen. Loaded with plant-based antioxidants. Swag bucks. You'll get 20% off your first order, and you'll earn 3,000 SB just for prioritizing your own health. You have to be a U.S. player to take advantage. Food. This is taking care of your body with some gummies. It's as simple as that, and you're earning SB, and you're saving on your first order. Be sure to check that out at the end of the game. Here we are, folks, 8,264 people vying for a $1,000 grand prize, almost 20,000 people in total are here vying for a bonus SB in question number 10. Able to continue, what is the result? Is it a technical knockout? A When you knock someone out in a boxing match, it means they're unable to count. The match is simply stopped because a boxer cannot continue. That is a technical knockout. 7,558 of you performed a full-on knockout of this game, and you are splitting our grand prize. Well done. All of the people who won today's game are getting 14 SB. That is your share of the purse, along with all the bonus you earned along the way. So, Selena, congratulations. Her Royal Majesty, I, I bow to thee, uh, my majesty. Skalutz, Bullet Holloman, S-Dogs 101, A Melum, and so many more. Taking home a piece of that grand prize. And you're all, all, everybody who played the game today, if you got a bonus or if you won, you're getting SB, which you can redeem for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Thanks for playing, everyone. I'll be back tomorrow with a